today we're talking about the empty nest. Is it really a syndrome? We're tackling a topic that hits home for many, the empty nest phase of life. You know the scenario. The house once bustling with laughter, school runs and ceaseless parenting duties now echoes with silence. This can feel overwhelming, even empty, as many women have poured their life into their kids. But what if I told you that this emptiness could actually be a new opportunity for you? Let's redefine emptiness syndrome. It's not actually a syndrome at all, but a phase of life brimming with possibility. With the noise and chaos of raising children silenced, it's time to rediscover yourself. I can speak from experience. With my last son moving out, sure, there was a void, but there was also this sense of freedom. The freedom now to do what I wanted, when I wanted. This is the freedom that an empty nest affords. Think about it. You've spent years nurturing your kids. Now you have the freedom to nurture yourself. It's time to redefine your identity post-children at home. Remember, your kids never really leave you. They're just not living under the same roof. They're carving out their independence just as you taught them. Embracing the empty nest phase can initially feel disorienting, empty. But remember, feeling lost is the first step to finding your way. Use this moment to explore new interests and passions. Ask yourself, what have I always wanted to do? Maybe it's a hobby you've put on hold or a career you've always dreamt of. With an empty nest, now is your chance. So how do you go about finding your purpose in the empty nest? Well, here are some tips. First of all, we have a purpose pathway that will help you find that if you click below. Use self-reflection. Use this quiet time to dig deep into your core, connect with your inner self. What are the values that you hold dear? What activities bring you genuine joy and fulfillment? Reflecting on these questions can guide your next steps. Experiment. Ever wanted to learn to paint, join a book club, or start a fitness routine? Now's your chance. Try new things and push your boundaries a little. Your mental health is important. It's time to grieve the end of a significant phase of your life, but it's equally important to focus on your mental wellness during this time. So try meditation, yoga, visualization exercises. And connect. Sharing your experiences with others going through the same phase can be comforting. So join support groups or online communities for empty nesters. And explore with more time and space in your life you have a wonderful opportunity to rediscover yourself. So envision your life beyond parenthood and take steps towards creating a life that matches this new identity. Remember, an empty nest doesn't signify an empty life. So feel proud of the, your parenting achievements. It's just the opening of a new chapter where you get to focus on you now. So embrace this transition with optimism and curiosity and you'll find it can be a rewarding and enriching journey. The empty nest phase is an opportunity for self-discovery and growth. It's a chance to redefine your identity and find, discover your purpose. It's not the end of your story, but the start of a new chapter. So begin to feel comfortable in the silence of the empty nest. It's not a sign of emptiness but a symbol of opportunity, an opportunity to rediscover yourself from the inside out, to find your purpose, redefine your identity. The empty nest is not a syndrome, but a gateway to a new fulfilling life that hosts your new dreams. Mm -hmm.